Hello and welcome to this video. In this particular video, we are going to take a look at as to how you should be trading in a situation when the markets are crashing, which is basically what the markets have been doing in the last three months, three or four months, uh, basically from the beginning of 2022. So this is what I want to highlight. I want to highlight the performance of the major indexes during uh, 2022, some of the actively managed funds during 2022. Uh, some of the most popular stocks during 2022 and then we'll compare it to my performance and we'll see whether the principles and techniques that I have highlighted in a lot of videos that I have uploaded onto my channel they actually work and do they help you outperform uh, the professional money which is there in the indexes which is there in the actively managed funds the hedge funds so let's go ahead and get started uh, before we proceed a quick disclaimer that whatever information I'm sharing with you is only for entertainment purposes And this is not any kind of trading or investment advice If you want to actually trade and invest your money, please get in touch with a certified financial advisor So this is what S&P 500 has done in 2022. It's down almost 17 and a half percent and S&P 500 is composed of the 500 largest companies in the US markets which are representative of their sectors and this particular index is down by 17 and a half percent so that's a big downward move nasdaq which is another index of 100 companies and these this is heavy in technology stocks is down by 26.8 percent so almost 27 percent means nasdaq has lost about more than one fourth of its value in 2022 alone so nasdaq has had a really bad time and one thing i want to highlight here about indexes is that indexes don't fall by as much as the individual stocks fall by so if you consider some of the stocks uh, technology stocks like Netflix uh, like Facebook they are actually down by 60 70 percent from their highs so although the index is down only 26.8 percent some of the stocks which have huge representation in the index are actually down by as much as 60 70 percent so it's been a really volatile market and a really bearish trend in in, in 2022 uh, now let's move away from the indexes and look at an actively management managed fund. This is the ARK Invest flagship uh, fund, the innovation fund. And this particular fund is down almost 60% in 2022 alone. So this is actively managed money where a professional money manager is actually charging big bucks to actively manage your money. And that's down 60%. Let's keep going. Berkshire Hathaway, this is a company which is run by Warren Buffet, the legendary invest investor. And this company is up only 3.8%. So it's not losing money. It's up by but, but by only about 3.8% in 2022. And I must highlight one thing here that Warren Buffet was sitting on a lot of cash, which he was not able to deploy in the previous years. And this year, he has actually deployed almost $40 billion plus, if I remember the figures correctly, into the markets. And for those of you who have some understanding of the markets, you'll know that when you try and invest $40 billion, you make a huge investment in a company. What's going to happen is that the share price of that company is going to go up. Plus, when Warren Buffet invests into a certain company and that information becomes public, then a lot of retail investors, a lot of other uh, institutional investors who just follow Warren Buffet, they will also go and take sizable positions in those companies, driving the prices even higher. Now, as a retail investor, I do not have access to this kind of capital and nobody follows me. So if I buy into a certain company, no other institutions are going to come up, start buying and move up the prices. So with all that advantage that Berkshire Hathaway has, the amount of capital they have, the amount of following they have, still they are up only by 3.8% year to date. Now let's come to my performance. Before we go into this performance, I want to show you a place where I have listed all my trades for free. So this is the community tab on my channel. So you can go to my YouTube channel and go to the community tab and you will see here that I have mentioned trade number 16. So there are 16 trades that I have posted on my community tab till now. And this particular trade was posted just 20 hours ago. So I had opened the 16th trade here five days ago. And yesterday, I basically closed this particular trade. This trade was on Netflix. And you get all details of the trade uh, that I took. When was it opened? When was it closed? What was the actual trade? What was done to close that trade? How many days 
were there to expiry if it's an option trade and how many days did i keep the trade open what was the final return that means the profit uh, in terms of the percentage return and then if you analyze that what would have been the return and then we keep a, a track of the running profit or loss and right now that is here is about thirteen hundred and ninety dollars so i mean most channels most uh, people who give their trades out don't do it for free and they will charge you a subscription of substantial amount to have access to this this kind of actual trades and i try to put these this information out pretty much as soon as i take the trade so if i take a trade i try to put out this information within an hour within two hours and i don't do short term trading i'm not a day trader most of my traders trades are swing trades which at least are open for five four to five days and most of the times they're open for as much as 20 25 30 days sometimes as much as 45 days also so there's no hurry if i post the trade today you can actually watch the trade two three days later also and it's still relevant because i am into swing trading i don't basically get involved into day trading or very short term trading if i get quick returns that's fine but that's not what i target so this kind of information i am pretty sure no other channel is giving out for free there are paid subscriptions i have seen hundreds of paid subscriptions out there and the biggest point is that even if you get those paid subscriptions I am not certain of two aspects. Number one, are those people really profitable? Are those trades actually profitable? Secondly, are people who are mentioning these trades actually executing the trades or not? Or are they just paper trading? Because it's very easy to uh, just post the trades out there without actually putting your own money on the line. But I can assure you and I can prove it if it's needed that these are actual trades which are there on my trading account. And the, this information comes right from my trading account. As soon as I take the trade, whenever I have time in the next one hour, two hours, three hours, I usually put the trade out. And, and you can basically monitor these trades because, uh, for example, this trade number 16 on Netflix, I posted it five days ago. So on 9th May, when I took the trade, I actually posted it here. Now, I don't know whether this is going to be profitable or it's going to make a loss. So I don't pick and choose the trades that I post here. Um, five days later, what happened is what's put here and you can actually take these timestamps you can go and see the particular options that i'm mentioning at what price were they trading were they actually trading at the price that i have mentioned here and if somebody were to copy these trades would it actually create the same times of uh, generate the same kind of profit or not so i mean i cannot emphasize this more this is the kind of information the live trade information that nobody puts out there and for now for now i'm putting this information out there for free and i wanted to do this for the last two to three months actually when the markets were in a terrible condition they were falling down they were bearish they were volatile they were choppy because if i can create successful trades during these kind of volatile markets based on the principles and the techniques and the screeners that i have highlighted in all of my videos that i have posted on youtube then you can be certain that this is a profitable trading strategy so now let's get back to the slides and look at the overall performance if you want to i will not be going into details of the individual trades here if you want to actually check out the trades you can go to my channel go to the community tab and uh, look at the trades and i would strongly suggest that you subscribe to the channel and enable the notifications so that as soon as i post something here you get notified of it because it, it's better that as soon as i take a trade and i put the information in here you get notified so you can also follow that trade along maybe you can paper trade or maybe you can take the actual trade it's up to you but you can follow the trade what i am trying to do and see why i got into a trade if you have any questions you can put those in the comments here um, and i'll be happy to respond to those so let's get back to the slides and look at uh, the overall results of my performance so as you saw i have totally taken uh, 16 trades that I have posted on my community tab out of these 12 trades have been closed now what do I mean by a closed trade is that if I sold an option I bought it back or it expired so there is no way that the profit there is on paper some lot of people try to highlight that they bought stock and it's up by 20% so they have a profit I don't consider that as profit the reason is because the stock price may fall those profits are paper profits if the stock falls all that profit is gone so i consider profit as a real profit only when you have closed the trades so out of the 16 trades that 
I have posted on the community tab of my channel 12 trades are there which have been actually closed and what I mean by closed trades is that the profits or losses on those trades have been realized they are not on paper any fluctuations in, in the option prices or in the stock prices will have no impact the results are now fixed they they cannot be changed because I have closed those trades those are no longer open positions with me four trades are open two of the four trades which are open are basically where I have bought shares of FLWS and Citibank and these shares I have bought at a very deep discount and I'm actually having losses on these trades so I bought shares at a very deep discount the price has gone even down further okay so there are losses on the two stock positions because when I sell put options if the options get assigned I have to buy the stock right and once I buy the stock I can execute covered calls to keep reducing my cost basis but the shares themselves have fallen below the price at which I purchased it so I have some losses on the open positions where I have the shares the other two open positions are options sales which still have to yield a $520 premium so that is the kind of premium that is still to be realized okay and I am not counting it in the net profit on the closed trades for the reason that I just mentioned because that $520 of premium is anyways something that I'm going to realize uh, I think the expiry date is 17th June so when the options expire on 17th June this premium will get added to my profits but as long as I don't close those trades I don't count them and consider them into profits because I don't want to highlight the paper profits I want to highlight profits that have been actually realized where there is no chance of those profits going away because of any change in the price of the options or the underlying shares so this is the chart from January 1st January to I think uh, one or two days back where you can see that whatever balance uh, I started with at the beginning of the year I have not actually lost any money rather I have gained a small percentage of money so now compare this to the performance of the index funds of the uh, professionally managed funds like ARK invest and even Berkshire Hathaway so do you think I'm doing way worse than Berkshire Hathaway I, I don't think so I'm, I think I'm doing better than them and the, the the main reason why I feel very confident is number one I am a retail investor or a retail trader I do not have the access to the tools and the kind of capital that professional money has I don't have those kind of resources so with the, the limited resources that are available at my disposal if I can uh, perform better than most of the hedge funds than most of the index funds than most of the actively managed funds and even uh, comparable to that of legendary investors like Warren Buffet then that is a big achievement in itself and the, the core thing that I want to highlight here is that I have executed my trades in such a way where every principle that I follow I have kind of highlighted in one or more videos that I have already uploaded to my channel so I strongly suggest that if you like my performance and you find that in, in such volatile markets when people have lost almost half or more than half of their portfolios when the highest paid fund managers are finding it difficult to uh, prevent losses on their funds uh, if I am able to sustain profits and I am able to beat all these uh, professional money managers it is because I have strictly followed the rules the guidelines that I have highlighted in the other videos that I have uploaded so please go through those videos and try to understand the concepts once you understand the concepts and the next thing is discipline if you follow them with absolute discipline then you can also repeat this kind of performance and if you can have this kind of a performance in the volatile turbulent bearish markets that we have right now you can survive in any kind of markets because what I see is that number one I have not lost money number two I have made some money number three I the, the, the losses that I have are on Citibank and FLWS shares which I have bought at a very very deep discount and now those shares are even trading below that deep discounted price so this gives me a chance to sell covered calls and keep reducing my cost basis and also if the prices go even further I can double down or I can increase my position size 
and and lower my average cost because i first of all don't like to trade in companies which are not fundamentally strong so if you pick up any of the companies that i have selected two things will be evident number one i never buy at the peaks i hate uh, going with the trend i mean there's a trend following trading uh, kind of a technique but when you are in an uptrend you don't know how much the stock is still going to go up so i don't like buying at the peaks netflix i took trades because the stock crashed like anything it lost almost 60 65% of its valuation and it came into the value territory i took trades on facebook because facebook crashed like anything it came into value territory so these are the trades that i have taken and if i have to own shares in any of those companies i don't mind owning shares and holding on to those shares because i know i am buying those shares below the intrinsic value so i'm collecting premiums i'm collecting dividends and i'm collecting uh, i'm i'm holding on to shares which i have purchased below their intrinsic value so if you if you don't agree with me just analyze one of the companies in which i'm holding shares which is city bank city bank is trading at the price to book value is 0.5 so book value is the net value of the equity in a company that means what are the sh- what 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 is the worth of the shareholders equity in the company and the the price of the stock is half of that so the company's market capitalization right now is half of what the net worth of the owners of that company uh, own right so so that itself shows you that this stock is trading at a deep discount plus at the price at which i have purchased city bank i almost get a 5% dividend yield so if if city bank's price doesn't go anywhere even for a year or two years it doesn't matter because i'm making that 5% dividend at the same time i'm gaining extra uh, money by selling covered calls and reducing my cost basis and eventually because i know i have bought this company in a very deep value territory when the price starts going up i have a huge percentage of gain possible imagine somebody who bought city bank at 70 dollars or 65 dollars right or flws it was trading at 27 28 dollars at one time imagine somebody buying at that price as opposed to me buying at 14 15 dollars right so never buy at the peaks and all these principles all these guidelines i have explained in multiple videos so i have a complete playlist on the various screeners that i use to shortlist the stocks i have a complete playlist on fundamental analysis i have a complete playlist on the live trades so i have taken some of my trades and i have detailed uh, discussion on those trades in some of the videos as to why i took the trade what was the compelling reason for taking that trade and finally how it turned out and how i basically follow the principles to create multiple layers of cushion and basically make sure that i am on the right side of things so the main purpose of today's video was to summarize number 1 that you if you, if you follow and subscribe to my channel and you enable the notifications and you follow the community tab you're basically getting access to a service for which most people will charge a subscription fee uh, there are a lot of uh, subscriptions out there which will send you trades that supposedly uh, those people are taking i'm giving them out for free secondly my trades are actually generating a profit in the worst possible markets that are out there in the bearish turbulent volatile markets i'm able to generate profits so you can make my experience yours for free for now i am not charging anything it's free of cost so you just have to subscribe to the channel and enable the notifications and whenever i put a trade out there you can immediately get notified and follow the trade uh, secondly the principles that i'm using to execute those trades uh um, those principles are outlined in my videos so i would highly recommend that you watch those videos my videos are lengthy they are in detail so it takes a bit of time but go through those videos once twice thrice till you internalize the concepts because those concepts will keep you on the right side of things they will actually help you stay green with your trading account uh the third thing is that this particular information that i'm giving out is for free so you're not paying anything So I have learned a lot of things by making mistakes and losing money. You can avoid losing money, you can avoid that pain and you can just learn from my experience. So I would strongly suggest that you subscribe to the channel, enable the notifications, follow the trades and follow the videos that I have already posted on my channel. 
once you internalize the concepts you can go to the live trading playlist where i have a couple of videos where i have explained individual trades that i have taken and the uh, reasoning and uh, basically the explanation of how the trade uh, trade was executed and what was the final result and hopefully once you club everything together we together can improve our trading experience and i don't take great day trades so you don't have to worry that unless you're glued to your system and if you receive a notification you don't follow the trade within five minutes you're going to lose something no that's not going to happen most of my trades stay open for almost 20 25 30 days and in fact a lot of times after i have immediately taken the trade two or three or four days or five days the trade is in a loss because most of my trades involve selling options so the prices i, I cannot predict the bottoms i i don't have a magic ball to tell me that a stock has bottomed so the stock actually moves against me to a certain extent and i lose money on the options but it doesn't cross the strike price so eventually with time decay all that money is made back so if you look at a lot of my trades i would have collected 400 dollars of premium you can take the same trade maybe two days later and collect 600 dollars of premium so hopefully this video is useful if you find it useful please subscribe to the channel enable the notifications put your comments um, and and one thing that i want to seriously request is if you like the trades that i put on the community channel unless you like those trades or put some comments there i cannot know if those trades are helping you in any way because it takes effort when i'm trading i want to focus on my trading but i take out time to post those trades on the community channel so if you can give some feedback there that is really encouraging to me because i get the feedback that that information is actually useful to somebody so if you want me to continue posting these trades on the community channel for free that i'm doing right now and i can assure you there are a lot of uh, people out there who charge paid subscriptions to give you their trades and they are not even profitable they are not even executing actual trades most of them are actually paper trading so subscribe to the channel uh, enable the notifications please leave your comments and suggestions on the community tab on the actual posts that i create for the trades as well as on the videos that i'm putting there watch the videos learn the concepts watch the videos on the live uh, trades and if you have any doubts if you want any specific information let me know in the comment section i will definitely respond to you share this with as many people as you want and i'll catch you guys in the next video thank you so much for your time